Before the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, European immigrants did not stretch far beyond the eastern seaboard, choosing to remain close to their supply lines. When President Thomas Jefferson nearly doubled the size of our young nation in the $15 million deal with France, the 800,000 square miles would eventually include all or part of 14 states. The next year, in 1804, Jefferson sent an expedition led by Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to explore this large new territory west of the Mississippi River. Called the Corps of Discovery, the three-year journey produced a new understanding of the geography and resources of the western part of the continent. Despite some continuous push westward, it was not until the conclusion of the War of 1812 that the westward movement became significant. By 1830, the Old Northwest and Old Southwest, which were scarcely populated before the war, began to be settled. And before long, the states of Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Alabama, and Mississippi were admitted to the Union. At the same time, the idea of manifest destiny, a phrase coined by a newspaper man, was beginning to take shape. This concept envisioned the United States expanding across the entire continent. Soon, Americans began to buy into the inevitability of settling unexplored western frontiers, first moving into places such as current-day Michigan, Arkansas, Wisconsin, and Ohio. In the 1840s and 50s, the nation expanded quickly, and in the span of just five years, the United States increased its size by a third. During this time, the country annexed Texas, negotiated with Britain for half of the Oregon country, and acquired more land in the Mexican-American War, which would become the states of California, Nevada, Utah, parts of Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Wyoming. People then began to move in great numbers to the west, the California Gold Rush, the construction of railroads, the Mormons' long pilgrimage to Utah, and the blazing of the Santa Fe, California, and Oregon trails all contributed to the expansion. More gold and silver discoveries drew prospectors and settlers into Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, and Montana, but the most rapid migration occurred after the Civil War. One factor encouraging settlers to move west was the Homestead Act, passed in 1862, which allowed settlers to claim 160 acres of land for free. After filing for an application, the homesteader was required to improve the land, and after five years could apply for the deed. Another important factor was the completion of the first transcontinental railroad in 1869. After six years of hard labor, the tracks were connected between Iowa and California, linking the existing Eastern Railroad network from the Atlantic to the Pacific coasts for the first time. Though these changes were very exciting for settlers heading west, seeking land and opportunity, it had serious consequences for our Native Americans. Westward expansion meant the occupation and annexation of their homelands, and dramatic changes to their traditions and lifestyles. Through numerous treaties, some honored, some broken, along with frequent Indian wars, the government in the end took over the vast majority of native lands, forcing our nation's first peoples to reservations. By 1870, only portions of the Great Plains could truly be called unsettled, and most of the buffalo for which the Indians depended on had been hunted almost to extinction. For most of the next two decades, the plains became the fabled open range, home to cowboys and their grazing cattle. However, by the late 1880s, yet more settlers moved in and fenced the Great Plains into family farms. The continued settlement, along with the wild rush of pioneers into Oklahoma Indian Territory, constituted the last chapter of westward movement. By the early 1890s, the frontier had ceased to exist within the continental states. However, the history lives on in the hundreds of fascinating tales of westward expansion, the trials and tribulations of tens of thousands of people who braved the frontier, the Native Americans who suffered through manifest destiny, and the biographies, notes, and memoirs of hundreds of interesting characters who lived during these adventurous times. Start your journey here on our Westward Expansion page from Legends of America.